I tell you what, after running the grapple out here, moving brush and logs with the skid steer, what really stands out to me is what a dramatic difference it is using a grapple on a skid steer compared to a tractor. We'll talk about that a little bit as we go through. Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I came out here today with a plan that's not going to work out. I brought my torch and a stack of cardboard, and I was going to start a big brush fire in this burn hole, but it looks like that burn hole is more suited for ice skating right now than it is burning. We've had a lot of rain, and this hole doesn't normally hold water, but it sure as heck is today, and it's frozen over, so there's no way I can burn, but I can go ahead and pile brush up for the next fire. We are in an extreme cold snap for this part of the country. It's a high of 20 degrees today, high of 6 tomorrow. I don't think we'll have a high above 20 degrees for the next 4 or 5 days. So I'm really glad today to have a nice warm cab on the skid steer. I've also got a cab on the tractor, but for what I'm doing today, I'm going to use the skid steer. I like to make sure that the tabs are actually down and it's locked in properly before I do anything. I plan to work inside a heated cab today, not seeing any results because I can't get this coupler to go on right here. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know if it's because it's so cold, but I guess I'll take this fitting off of this hose and find another fitting. I guess maybe off another attachment and we'll do it that way. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. All right, it was definitely a problem with that other fitting because this one popped right on. This pile of brush right here is bigger than it looks, and a tractor grapple, in my experience, never grabs as much material as you think it will. This pile right here is a minimum of six trips down here with my grapple on my tractor, and no matter how well you think you pick it up, you're going to drop some as you go. So right now I'm trying to separate what's actually in the grapple from what it's tangled up in. After I do that, I stop and re-grip it because in my experience, you normally drop some on the way back. The nice thing about the grapple on the skid steer is it can squeeze a lot tighter. So if you look here, I'm basically able to compress this down. As I stop and check out the pond for a second, just because I enjoy looking at it, I was going to point out another big difference between a skid steer grapple and a tractor grapple. With the tractor grapple, having it full and carrying it low to the ground is not a problem with visibility, which is a heck of a good thing 
because with the tractor grapple, you never want to travel with your load up in the air. But with this skid steer grapple, it's so tall that I literally can't see anything in front of me if I've got a full load. So in certain circumstances, I will lift it up in the air and drive that way. Now, I would not do that if the load was really heavy, but this brush just doesn't weigh much and it allows me to see where I'm going. And there's honestly just no risk of tipping over with this amount of weight up in the air. In terms of weight, my tractor could carry this whole pile, but I've tried multiple grapples and with any of them, this portion right here is taking probably four trips. Here you can see me picking up some slab wood and actually some milled lumber off my sawmill. And it kind of breaks my heart putting this in a burn pile, but I really felt like I didn't have much choice. You can't see it in this shot, but this is thin sliced, one inch or less, and I didn't stack it properly to dry it and it very quickly warped to the point I don't feel like I could save it. I'm back down by the pond picking up what I didn't get on my first trip and I find that this style of grapple on the skid steer gives me much more precise control to pick up one individual small piece if I want. Or in this case I missed one branch and I went back and got it without dropping the rest of the load. Part of that is the skid steer and the style of grapple. The other part is you're just up so close that you have better visibility. Another big difference is the boom does not reach as far out in front of the machine with the skid steer. So it's harder to put this material all the way up on top of the pile like I could with the tractor. If you notice me using the top jaw to push into the pile, that's something I have to be careful with with the skid steer because it has so much power to push that you can actually damage your grapple by pushing too hard. Probably the biggest mindset difference that it takes is with a tractor, especially a compact tractor like mine, when I'm using the grapple, I'm trying to make sure that I don't damage my loader. If you pick up too much weight or you have it off center or you push too hard on something, that's a real possibility. Whereas the skid loader, I have no concerns about my boom. I'm only trying to make sure that the skid steer doesn't damage anything else. If it wasn't so windy, I would have went ahead and lit this on fire up on top of that and burned what I could. But as it is, I had a good time piling it up. And I guess nothing I had to share today was too profound, but just the things rattling around in my brain while I'm working. Anyway, I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.